contractor accused of taking customers' money and abandoning projects has now failed to show up to his own bankruptcy hearings. Live 5 investigative reporter Blair Sable, who first, by the way, broke this story, joins us now. And Blair, this has become a frustrating process for these customers. Yeah, Rafa, not only that, as long as that bankruptcy case is happening, it trumps their civil cases. And so their cases and any hope to get some money back remains in limbo. He's obviously exploited the system, he, the, the loopholes in our legal and justice system, and he knows what he can and can't get away with. Otherwise, he would have been caught by now. Brian Kelly thought he would have his dream is, yeah, garage by now but... to work on collectible cars, his passion project. After saving up for years, Kelly paid Ronald Brent Urgel of Palmetto Restoration and Construction 30 grand up front for it but didn't get much more than a dugout trench, according to him and his wife, Michelle. So now we have an island and a moat in our backyard. Kelly sued him in May. As Live 5 Investigates first revealed, he is one of several customers who claim Urgel abandoned their projects, costing them thousands. But his case and others have taken the backseat to Urgel's Chapter 7 bankruptcy filing. Let the record reflect that Mr. Urgel has twice previously failed to appear at this 341 meeting. As of this morning, Mr. Urgel has failed to provide any of the documents as ordered in the court's order. And Urgel told us he didn't have to show up to hearings. The bankruptcy court plans to auction off materials discovered in storage units rented by him, filled with personal tools, equipment, and construction materials. It estimates they will sell for less than $10,000. Customers say they've paid Urgel in total close to 300000 their so hopes have dwindled for any accountability in the last the few months on the civil and criminal money. side. Uh, to date, they still haven't been property, able to so file a police report. We've been told that once he broke ground, once he did work, it, it is no longer a criminal offense. Urgel claims he had fallen behind on his projects, though as I revealed in my investigation, he never had the proper license to do the work in the first place. To Attorney Richard Rissick says the law can get blurry when it comes to, to contracts. The more like you're a bad business person, the less criminal it is. The more like you never intended to be a business person, the more criminal it is. And even if these customers were to get a judgment in civil court, Rissick tells me limitations in state law make it difficult to even get paid out. And it expires after 10 years. Now, Urgel did respond to our request for comment after we sent multiple messages telling us that both materials and money had been refunded. Now, some customers tell me they have gotten some supplies here and there, but not one I've spoken to has received a refund. For Live 5 Investigates, I'm Blair Sable.